Hi, today we're going to talk about rhizoctonia damping off. So we're going to perform a little experiment to demonstrate it. Rhizoctonia damping off is a disease that can happen and be called post-emergence or pre-emergence damping off. And what happens with pre-emergence damping off is you have your seedling and it will germinate underground, but the rhizoctonia will come in and kill that seedling before it has a chance to ever break the surface of the soil, and we call that pre-emergence. If it's post-emergence damping off, the rhizoctonia or the seedling will go ahead and emerge out of the soil, but the rhizoctonia will overtake it after it has already emerged and then kill it, and so it will flop over and be dead, and that's post-emergence damping off. And so the experiment today, we will look at different levels of inoculum as well as controls and looking at negative controls. So the, the supplies that you're going to need are a marker, pot labels, which I've already pre-labeled, forceps, cucumber seeds, you'll need eight per pot, sterile rice grains, rice grains inoculated with rhizoctonia, selenite, four pots, four inches in diameter, two bags to place your pots in, as well as uh, potting media. So I've already potted three pots and we'll go ahead and do our last one. We get our soil or our media and up just about to that first little line and we're going to place eight cucumber seeds and I've also placed eight cucumber seeds in each of these other pots and you want to place them about one centimeter down into the media. Cover them up. Now, we have four pots here that we have treated exactly the same. And that is very important for our experimental design. We don't want any differences except in our rice grains. And so I have my four pot labels here and I'm gonna go ahead and place the pot labels we have the inoculated grains in the back here, one inoculated and three inoculated rice grains. And our controls in the front here, one and three rice grains. So we're gonna start first with our controls. This is our negative control. And these are very important in your experiments. If you don't have a negative control, how do you know that what you're seeing is actually caused by the rice grain or any kind of treatment that you're putting on your experimental unit? So you have to have your negative control. So these sterile rice grains, like I said, we're gonna work with first because we don't wanna cross contaminate. And you're gonna place for the grain with one, you'll place it just in the center of the pot, one centimeter down, cover that up. And then for the other pot, we're gonna do three rice grains. And you're gonna place them in a triangular pattern into the media. And then you'll cover them up about one centimeter down. All right, for this, the controls are now done. And so we're going to water in the rice grains and the uh, seeds. So the seeds have enough water to germinate, as well as if there is anything on those sterile seeds, they will also have the water that they need. We're gonna tie the bag, and you wanna leave some headroom in your bag. And we do this so that we can keep the humidity high in the bag because our diseases as well as our plants need that high humidity. So we'll set these to the side. Now we're gonna walk, work with our inoculated rice grains. And just like we did with our controls, we're gonna repeat the same thing but with our uh, inoculated rice grains. So here, like I said, they've been inoculated with Rhizoctonia solani. We're gonna take one rice grain and in the correlating pot, you'll put one rice grain into the center, one centimeter down, and cover it. And then the other one, we're gonna repeat just like with the negative controls, three rice grains in a triangular pattern around the outside of the pot, one centimeter down, cover those. Just like the seeds germinating, that rhizoctonia needs high humidity as well and will be much happier and easier to infect if we 
have the high moisture. So now what we expect to happen is that the, the pots with the one grain, we expect to see a bit of uh, pre-emergence pre or post-emergence damping off. And with the three rice grains, we're expecting to see a lot of pre-emergence damping off because there's so much inoculum there. So one versus three, that's three times the amount of inoculum. So we expect to see three times the amount of effect on the, uh, the cucumber seeds. Now for the controlled seeds, we expect, because they're sterile, that they should have no effect on the cucumber seeds. So we should see the same uh, germination level in both of the pots and just what we would accept, expect as a normal germination amount for any seed that you plant in the ground. So we'll come back in a week and we'll see what we see. Thank you.